caution reefers. It's been a while since I last did a video, but due to storms with different names and snow on the A9 and everything, we haven't been able to get any livestock or anything, so there's not been an awful lot to talk about. We've had a few uh, dry goods deliveries in between, but again, nothing to really warrant a video. So I must apologize for that, but anyway, here we go. We'll start a new video on the latest stock that came in from the Tropical Marine Center yesterday and also a few other products that we've had over the last couple of weeks delivered to us as well. Anyway, that's the uh, display aquarium still going quite strong. Colors and growth still pretty good in there. And moving around onto the DD Aqua Pro. The LPSs seem to be growing there. The gold torch is doing nicely orange hammer and everything hopefully might be able to get some frags off that sooner than later and move on to the DD aquarium everything in here is doing really well colors are lovely growth is good yeah everything in this tank is doing really well move on to the, see the display from this side and also from the this corner Anyway, we'll get on to the livestock. And in the first aquarium here, we have a flame scooter, a couple of red jawfish, a dusky wrasse, a pyramid butterfly, a zebra goby, a fox face, a pair of Oslaris clowns, and a nice little yellow sylphin tang. Moving into the next one, we've got a torpedo goby, yellow tank bred clownfish, a pair of black and white clowns, hyphen clown goby, a watchman goby, a dusky wrasse, and a nice little rusty angel. Moving into the next tank, we have a couple of red fairy wrasses there, shot silk goby. Gold rim tang, pair of black and white clownfish, little Pictus blenny, a watchman goby, a Red Sea cleaner ass, a large Magnifica fox face, and some blue green chromis. We'll move up onto the next tank, and uh, we've got some Indian Ocean firefish, a Red Sea cleaner ass. A pink spot goby, blue faced angel, a blue striped dwarf parrot Macosca ras, and a Tasia 18 filefish. Into the next one, we've got a lemon peel dwarf angel, blue throat trigger, a blue neon goby, and an extra large gold rim tang. Into the next one, we have a Sohal tang, large as for angel. Sunfaced damsels and a high fin dwarf parrot ras. Move around onto the next aquarium, and we have gold streak blenny, some tank bred common clowns, neon goby, a flame angel, an Achilles tang, pink spot blenny. A scooter blenny, silver belly ras, and a leopard ras. To the next aquarium, we have our red stripe dwarf angel, neon line goby, Fiji skunk clownfish, a neon line ras, and a silver spot mm -hmm. tang. Into the next aquarium, we have gold streak blenny, neon goby. A large mandarin, the possum ras, a fireball angel, a powder blue tang, sulfur goby, and some tank bred Ocelaris clowns. Moving down into the next one, we have a royal blue damsel, pajama ras, orange stripe cold tang, and sun faced damsels. Into the next one, we have a Lamarck Angel, 
a Timor Ras, an Orchid Dotty Buck, and a Mimic Red Stripe Tan. And then to the last aquarium here for the fish side, we've got a Tank Bread Tangerine Line Clown Pear, we've got a Fox Face, a Watchman Gobi, Copper Barn Butterfly, Regal Damsels, a Neon Gold Gobi, a Purple Firefish, a Sulphur Gobi, and an Adorned Wrasse. Just coming down here, we've got uh, some live rock there, ready cured, ready to go and put into your aquarium. We'll move on to the coral livestock now. Um, we're in the £20 coral frag section, so everything on this, from the shelves here, apart from the lovely Tridacta Maxima clam, everything on here is £20. Uh, moving down onto the bottom, we have some nice green corals which are individually priced, red acans, a beautiful uh, maize coral there, orange, bubble corals, gold tipped Australian catafilias, red scolomia. Moving into the next one, everything on the shelves here is £30 each. It's uh, Monty's bird's nests, different types. Moving into the bottom there, we've got Cynarinas, Gold Trumpet Colony, Bubble Coral, Galaxia, Montipora Confusa, nice Ultra Pineapple, and a lovely pink and green Trachophilia there, Coral Sea. to the slightly larger colonies now across here. Again, yeah, Montes, purple stylos, orange pavonas, bird's nest, scatatus and hystrixes, green branching Montes, quite a selection. There's an Acropora there as well. We move on to the 40 pound section, so everything on this show is here, 40 pound each. Again, nice selection of SPS, little coral gardens there, Monte Gardens, some lovely pineapples and moon corals there. Moving into the LPS section, so we have ultra torches, pom pom frags, a couple of nice daisy frags, into hammers and frog spawns. Again, some more gold tip catphilias, daisy corals, red pom pom corals. Move down onto the softest tanks with pussy corals, cabbage corals, devil's finger corals, uh, green medusas, uh, gorgonias. In here we also have the critters, so we've got cleaner shrimp, peppermint shrimp, red light hermit crabs, red starfish, and uh, lots of pulse coral on the rock as well there. Moving across into the zoas and mushrooms, got coloured zoas mushrooms. Uh, green star polyps, uh, lovely recordias there as well. Uh, moving on to the dry goods section, we have uh, Rio Reef Rock, the DD Aquascape Rock. We've got the Innovitech X filters, everything from Ecotex or the Radions, Vortex, battery backups. Vectra pumps into max spec. We've got the jump ranges, the jump skimmers, all the gyres, Nios the floating fish traps, uh, DDRO units. Um, this is new in as well now. Is we've got the uh, max spec nanotech phos free, which is a slower absorption resin than the likes of Roa phos. So it's uh, when you use it, it doesn't take the phosphate down so quickly, less likely to give you RTN. We've also got anaerobic blocks from Max Spec now, as well as the normal blocks and the biospheres. So basically you have a food source that you put inside the uh, anaerobic block and that slowly feeds the bacteria to help reduce nitrates. Also got the new coral grippers as well from Max Spec. Moving on to these, we've got the jump guards, 
the octo skimmers, 80 dose containers, onto the normal goods for heaters, Fritz products, raw foss, Puragen, raw carbon, all the buffer powders from the uh, calcium, magnesium, KH. into these from Forum RN. We've also got the uh, Salafort test kits, the NIOS test kits, up onto the HANA test kits. Uh, we also have flatworm, red sino treatment, Flux RX for hair algae removal, Tasia X, uh, Joe's Juice, so everything there for the get rid of some of your pests. Um, and other disease remedies in here. I we'll have to mention as well, we've got the uh, ITC Reef Delete, which is uh, working rather well. I've got one in the shop here and we're trying it out and certainly does get rid of unwanted xenias and aptasias. You have to persist with it, but it does work. Moving to a RO replacements, milli putts, scrapers, cleaners. The uh, stream pumps from DD, we're on to DD uh, dosing pumps, Nero's, Hydra's from AI, Kessel refugium lights, onto all the Tunzi and the CC pumps. Moving down into Aquarium Systems Reef Crystal Salt, which we use ourselves, together with the Fritz Salt, which we use from time to time as well all the different sands. Anyway, I think I've gone through most things that we have. Just along the bottom here we've got the Deltex skimmers, so the Octo skimmers, There's the NIOS reactor there as well. Anyway, I've uh, waffled, waffled on enough, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long before we get another delivery, the weather stays good. Anyway, thanks for watching, and goodbye.